I got asked to create a dress inspired by the moon and the stars. What do you think? And can you spot the hidden star sign? Nails I would give zodiac signs PT2. Capricorn. Libra. Sagittarius. Taurus. There's someone who's planning on texting you soon. This person definitely has some kind of romantic interest in you. What I'm seeing is that this person wants to reach out to you and tell you some kind of truth. They want to give you clarity on something. And I'm seeing that this is going to happen really fucking soon, like within the next seven days. This person is holding on to words that they never got to say to you that they've always wanted to say. And it's really been weighing on this person. I'm seeing that there's a specific conversation that you had with this person that was that has been weighing on them this entire time that you guys have been in no contact with each other. I keep hearing your words cut sharper than a knife. I feel like you told this person something that was really true. Like you kept it real with this person and it was like the bitter truth. And this person has been thinking about it ever since nonstop. And they have been reflecting on themselves a lot. They have been reflecting on this conversation that you guys had. They have not been able to let go of what you said. They really took what you said to heart. And if you gave this person some kind of advice, or like I said, I feel like you told this person about themselves. You fed this person the bitter truth. They actually took what you said and started reflecting on themselves. Like They knew that what you were saying was the truth. Even if they could have been like kind of defensive at first, like this person has really been thinking about it and it impacted them in such a way that they decided that they had to make some kind of change within themselves. This person could have been very immature in the past and I feel like you set this person straight. And now this person is planning on reaching out to you very soon and confessing something to you. If you would like to know more about your exact situation, go ahead and email me to purchase your own personal reading. My email is in my bio. Thank you so much for watching and stay blessed. These four zodiac signs should highlight March 1st and 2nd on their calendars. During this time, Venus will conjoin Jupiter and Aries, suggesting an abundance of good luck is on the way. This is especially true if you have your Sun, Moon, Rising, or even personal planets in Aries, Libra, Capricorn, or Cancer. Venus and Jupiter together will increase your confidence that you can attract whatever it is that you value into your life. And if you have Venus and Aries, then you're really set up for success. Are you ready to march forward towards what you want? You said that I'm really fucking boring Well that's rich coming from you
because you're skinny, and maybe because you're pretty, you're used to getting away with things. But I want you to know that your actions have an effect on others, and I hate you, and you are a horrible person. And you not understanding that you're a horrible person doesn't make you less of a horrible person. You think I'm pretty? then you know that I am very much team revenge. Very much get your fucking look back. All that, the best revenge is moving on? Yeah, no, never been me. So I'm bored and I thought that this would be fun. How to get back at each zodiac sign. Going in order, starting off with Aries. Portray them as weak. Aries are huge bullies who thrive off of leadership and being in charge. The best way to get back at them is to show them that they ain't really what they rap about. Challenge them. Sun them. The more people who witness this, the better. You will definitely upset them. Just a forewarning though, I hope you know how to fight. Next is Taurus. Steal from them or have one of their prized possessions taken away. Speaking from experience, I don't like nobody touching my shit. So the best way to get back at a Taurus is to take something away that really matters to them. A bonus point there is Taurus also tend to view people as property. So if you can steal someone away from their life that really matters, like a close friend or a significant other, you will 100% get back at them. But again, warning, not only do I hope you know how to fight, I hope you own a gun. Next up is Gemini. Really, really easy. Uh, ignore them. Treat them like they're losers. Geminis usually think that they're the coolest person in the room. Usually they're not. So just treat them accordingly. And bonus points if you can get other people to treat them as such. And you will get back at them. Cancers, you know I love y'all, but y'all are very easy to get back at. Um, just kick them while they're already down. Wait until they're at a vulnerable point in their life and just make it worse. The rest, they will handle on their own. Leo, come for their self-esteem. There's a lot of ego involved with this sign. They're used to being told that they are the most amazing thing in the world since the day they were born. If you're an earth sign, this will probably be fairly simple for you to do because we just naturally don't really engage in fan behavior and a lot of us do this, but by mistake. Um, so yeah, if you can convince them that they aren't the hot shit that they originally thought they were, you will permanently wreck them. Last but this part is Virgo. Go for the jugular. Once again, very, very easy to come at. Um, if you think that it's something that they would probably be insecure or ashamed about, then just point it out. Virgos are really insecure. They, you got them right there. Anyway, I hope this helped somebody. Uh, like for part two. Who gave you your fucking license? I don't like driving. Oh my God, why are there so many people? Oh, I think I just hit someone. Why can't everyone just like die? Oh, Pajo. <laughs> oh, I got a new emoji. You know, you just need to relax and stop overreacting. Murdered this man. Yes. You tortured him. Of course. This is the rhythm of the night. How Pisces are made, forgiving, kind, artistic, moody, procrastinator. Selfless, escapist. Swing your hips 
Skrulls.